something I never thought of. Why not cover the actual modification of this monitor? You may notice the power supply is missing, but if we move its shield to there, lift it up, some of you may recognise that. You can probably guess what the modification is, is basically to get that, and now I'm just wiring up the power. Because it uses a brick, I'm basically sticking a plug socket on the back of the monitor. That's what that white box is for. And wiring it through to the power supply through this system. I'm going to trim the earth pin a bit. The rest are nice and flush, and then I'm going to run that straight under the circuit board. And then I can just pop it out and hopefully we won't get too much noise induced by the mains power supply. Safety, I've thought about it. Yeah, it's no real safety hazard. Because it ain't shorting anything, it's not within arcing distance. Seriously, you need a few kilovolts to arc across um, air. And if you've got an insulator in there, it's even more. You're going up into very high kilovolts regions that only photonic induction has the equipment to generate and even one who's made a Tesla coil but we shall show you what it looks like when it's assembled should have shown you this at the beginning of the project starting with mounting the actual unit on the back came up with some clever methods using my pot of screws from things I've dismantled while I've been at uni remember Raiding electronic bins is a good thing. You get goodies out of it, you can reuse elsewhere. Oh yeah, you may be noticing my floor's a bit messy. Yeah, it's no point clearing up until I've finished because, you know, there's bits of shattered Dremel blade and whatnot. And I've built a funky case for my Nixie clock. Now I just need to get a power supply. I think if I, if I ask nicely enough down at the engineering department, they might let me have one. They have been good on that sort of stuff when I've asked every other time. I fixed that monitor. It works again! The transi two transistors have died. Now, back to that one. Gotta love it when a project comes together and works first time. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? The colours are correct, the VGA cable isn't completely ruined. And... Loading! And when we go to the back... It doesn't look so neat. It also is a lot more heavy, so it's worth actually putting out the base extendery because we've got all this gum stuck to the back. But we have our convertery thing. We have our power supply, which we can turn on and off at will. Like that. There we go, the monitor's like, no input! Switch it on, and we should get our PS2 back. And that we do with red faction going into its little cutscene thing works a treat and in fact I would highly encourage people to do projects like this because it's a great way to learn how these monitors work and how switch modes work in fact repairing switch modes helps you learn how they work but it's all that good thing and I encourage people to do this sort of stuff just don't be a lemming about it and kill yourself know the right safety when it comes to power supplies, switch modes, CRTs and when you know the correct safety you can take the correct precautions and you can do these projects with a very low risk to the destruction of the product and yourself. But of course you have to be sensible about these things and know the dangers because through knowing the dangers you can have safe electronics and you don't have to kill yourself even when you're working with potentially dangerous systems. I should really take my own advice though a lot of the time. There are these instances where I do have a willful disregard for my own well-being. Well, well, such is life. This is one of the cases where I was more sensible and not an issue was had. Do you need to focus your CRT because it's an out of focus piece of shit? Well, why not use that crappy competition thing to create a non-conductive screwdriver? Seriously, it works, sadly the focus doesn't. Oh well, such is life. Let's put it back together. This thing's a big old capacitor.
CRTs look quite imposing, don't they, if you ask me? Just all that danger and destruction that lies in such a simple glass envelope. But really, it wants to destroy you. Blech.